Now, Kerrigan is joined by our friend Rachel West, so take it away. We're just chit-chatting over here, guys. <laughs> All right, Rachel, last time you were here, we learned about Mullen, mm -hmm. which was riveting stuff. I've literally had so many people be like, I did not know that did that, but we're covering something different today. Yeah, so I started a position years ago uh, at Springfield Community Gardens. And okay. so as we all turn our, our circles back around going back home, yes, <laughs> I am working on a grant right now uh, connecting farmers with value-added products or helping them develop. And so one of the things that we have at one of the community gardens yeah. so is uh, these grapes that are just growing all over. And so I forage some of these uh, grape leaves and me being me, I go <laughs> pedal like, food. This is what I do. <laughs> and so besides even worrying about the grapes, which I'll tell you about here in a second, yeah. I saw these grape leaves and I went in um, to the Lebanese place mm -hmm. and uh, they're just amazing there. And they do, uh, anytime I've brought him like a wild sumac or anything like that, he's happy to add it to the menu. He's like, we'll take that. And yeah, and so just having chefs or restaurants that are willing to support local food in any way mm -hmm. um, is really cool. So long story short, grape leaves are edible. Okay. Uh, they're used in uh, med uh, Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cuisine. A lot of times they're just blanched, and then that's what I have for you to try. Okay. So open that little sauce there, and uh, it's kind of like a tzatziki. I um, know he's probably cringing if I was saying it they're wrong. They're like, don't or say just that. Don't know. Okay. But it's. Uh, Is there anything in here? Yes, it's like rice. Okay. It's like a warm rice, and then the the We're red on the top is a here. sumac powder. Okay. And so uh, these, I brought him in, and he said that he could absolutely use these wild grape leaves, or they're domesticated, that are growing along the fence. In addition to, there is uh, something called uh, verjuice, and so you can do this with wild grapes, or you can do this with uh, the grapes that you have at home. Mm -hmm. If they end up having some kind of blight or mold, or they're starting to fall off, the birds get to them. The birds. You can, uh, when they're still in this harder green sour state, yep. it's called verjuice, and it, the Italians have used it because it, lemons don't grow there. And so they would juice the the grapes. The grapes. And so it's called verjuice, and it's a green grape juice. Okay. And so uh, the Lebanese place said that he could absolutely take the juice too mm -hmm. from these and be able to add it to a thing. And so when he was saying, that, I was like, I could totally bring this in and let you try it, and also let anybody know at home if they've got grapes that need juicing, they can use it like if, lemon or lime. If you're watching right now and you've got grapes that need <laughs> juiced, <laughs> Rachel knows wild, what to do with you it. Can, uh, but just running them straight through a juicer or Smashing, it'd be cool. Um, but do you the, ever grape stomp them? Yeah, I have once, okay. but not, I just not on the know. regular. Okay, not the it was one of those things like once you've sheared a sheep, you never do need to do it again. Like okay, once that's you've fair. stomped grapes, it's kind of like I mean, it's not. That's not. You're exciting, like it's a one and done for me. Also, I'm not really sure that I want to drink anybody else's like foot. No, like, no, I don't care if it's real. fermented if, or not. If we have made juice from feet, it's just maybe not. Not for me. No. Matt Hefner is over there making fun of us right now, but that's fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, do you have, if people want more information, they want to follow along with you, they want to learn more about all of these foraging tips, the things that you're up to, how can they do that? Eatingtheozarks.com. Thank you so much for being here. Honestly, this is so good. I was Aren't those incredible? I was like, and a it's little, such a different I was thing. a little nervous when you walked in with it. I was like, no, what am I eating? But this is really good. What, Highly what recommend. What green did you bring in? Yeah, I'm like, what, what? are we eating today? <laughs> well, thank you, Rachel. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right, well, up next, it's back out to Tom at Hy-Vee on Battlefield. So Ozarks Live will be right back.